The Catholic Church has been at the forefront of demonstrations calling on the Congo's president, Joseph Kabila, to stand down. And after morning service on Sunday, protesters took to the streets again. Since December, more than a dozen people have been killed by security forces in protests like these. And today, there was an all too familiar response by police. Tear gas quickly followed by gunfire. Rossip Mokendi was shot dead before the march started. His body taken to a nearby hospital. Two others were seriously injured. One of them, a student, Serge Muka. I'm not protesting by accident or in vain, and not because I don't know why I'm protesting. By protesting today, I was just claiming my right, and this is what happened to me. Organizers said the protesters no longer believed in the political will of current leaders to ensure a peaceful transition of power if Kabila is forced to stand down. There is killing here. Is Kabila condemning them? He's not condemning them at all. We will not end this protest. We will maintain our fight and we will go up to the end with this fight. As with previous protest marches, internet, mobile data and messaging services were cut across the Congo. But the opposition message is getting out. And the shooting by the security forces is further stoking up anger. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera.